Hey Cora, what's up? Today I'm going to talk about all of the books I read over the summer. And you're probably like, wow Grace, that's probably so many books I'm going to be here forever. But <laughs> no, no, it, it's not. Um, I had a really bad reading slump over the summer. I read The Darkest Minds Trilogy. Read it because the movie's out. And then I saw that it got a really bad review on Rotten Tomatoes, so I don't know how I feel about the movie, but the books were really good. Um, it's a dystopian sci-fi trilogy about this disease that infects kids, and most of them die, but some of them get these weird powers where they can like move stuff with their heads and make people forget who they are, and it's good. I recommend them. Yep. This is another, you know, YA dystopian. This book was so good. It's probably my favorite book I read over the summer <laughs> in the short list that I have. Um, it's Landlines by Rin Burrell. Rin Burrell is my favorite author of all time. She wrote my favorite book of all time, which is Carry On. Fun fact. Uh, but this book's really good. It's about this woman who's in the comedy business. She makes comedy TV or sitcoms or whatever. And her husband and her get into, like, some bad territory because she can't go on Christmas vacation because she has, like, this big work thing. Um, and it goes through their history. And it kind of has, like, a weird twist because <laughs> it's a phone that goes back in time. And it helps it, it, the phone helps her work through her marriage and shit. It's good. I love her writing so much that it, ugh. Ugh. And then I finished the first two books in the Agatar trilogy before summer started. And then I finished this one in June. It's good. If you don't know what Agatar is, The Court of Throne and Roses. It's by Sarah J. Mass, the same author as Throne of Glass. Um, it's very good. Cora, you should read Throne of Glass. It's amazing. The writing's amazing. And so is this. Um, this book follows this girl named Farah, who lives in a world where fairies or fae exist. And if I tell you anything else, I'll spoil it, but it's good. Um, yeah, so that's all of the books that I read over the summer. Now, I'm hoping that I can start off the year strong in September. We'll see. It's kind of weird because September is so close, but this is my September TBR to be read list, right? So I've been working on this book since like May. My friends are probably, uh, my friends are like on book eight and nine in this series and I haven't even gotten to like the middle of the book of the first book. It's really bad. <laughs> the book isn't really bad. My reading habits are really bad right now. But it's the first book in the Wheel of Time series, which is a 14 book book series. It follows these guys who travel around the world or go on an adventure. And I'm not far enough in to tell you much more. <laughs> But, uh, it's good. It's in a fantasy world, so that makes everything okay. And look at he's riding a horse. So. Anyway, I'm working on it. I might not finish it in September, but I'm working on it, and I will continue to work on it in September. And I, the book that I need to finish in September is this one. Um, this is Neither Wolf Nor Dog. It's a book that my boyfriend is lending me. And I've been reading it for a long time, and I really need to get it back to him. So that'll be my main project right now. Neither Wolf Nor Dog, because I forgot to mention this, is about this um, uh, author who is a white man who wants to write a book um, based off of a Native American elder story. Okay, and then the last one, I'm reading the first book in the Red Rising trilogy. I like it a lot. It's about people on Mars, so of course I like it. In the future, I'm going to make a whole video nerding out about terraforming. Remember that time in your car, Cora? It's 
coming. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today, Cora. This is more for me, <laughs> so that I like have to be accountable for the books that I'm reading because otherwise I'm gonna be like, well, I didn't read any books all of 2018-2019. Whoops. <laughs> I'll get them, I'll get them. And then I might make this type of video every month just to keep myself on track, you know. All right, anyway, thanks for hanging out and uh, I'll see ya. Bye.